So last night, Kirby Doc scored in his first game back with the Habs since February 14th. The Habs went on to beat the Lightning 3-2, and man, I am just so happy to see Doc back in the lineup. Before I get into the video, I just wanted to say another massive thank you to all of you for helping me surpass 300 subscribers. As always, I will keep trying to remain consistent and improve my content with every video. Thank you all again, and let's get into it. So, I haven't really talked about the Kirby Doc trade since I started my channel, and I figured now would be a good time to do so. Back at the 2022 NHL Draft, the Habs completely shocked everyone by sending Alexander Romanov and pick number 98 to the New York Islanders for pick number 13 in the draft. They then packaged up picks number 13 and 66 and sent them to the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for Kirby Doc. I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I was when they traded for Doc. I really feel like he is the perfect fit in Montreal. He's a big two-way center with good hands, great playmaking ability, and tons of potential. The Blackhawks drafted Kirby Doc at third overall back in the 2019 NHL draft, and in my opinion, they reached a little bit to get him. The Blackhawks clearly filled the need by drafting Doc, but unfortunately, it wouldn't work out for them. Doc would start the 2019-2020 season with the Blackhawks and put up just 23 points in 64 games. That's not a terrible first season. He was only averaging about 14 minutes per night, but you definitely expected more out of him. In the 2020-2021 season, Doc would play just 18 games for the Blackhawks and only put up 10 points. He would injure his wrist in the World Junior Championship that year, and his season was unfortunately cut short. The following season, he would put up just 26 points in 70 games, and it was clear at this point that something just wasn't working. It was obvious that he needed a change, but I can't help but look at this from the point of view of the Blackhawks. I understand Doc was struggling, but as a rebuilding team, how on earth do you give up on a 21-year-old centerman with so much potential? I didn't really understand this move by the Blackhawks. Yes, they did get a first-round pick in return, but I feel like Doc could have been a core piece for them going forward. So far this season with the Habs, Doc has 36 points in 55 games, and while not amazing, this is a big improvement compared to his first few seasons in the league. The Habs have a lot of young players, and I think Doc being around them and playing with them is helping his game a lot. I see him playing a top six center role for the Habs going forward, and I hope he continues to improve in the coming years. Let me know your thoughts below. Please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching.